In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. Oh yes, and I think I should warm up my hands a little bit. We just had a power outage, so I don't know what that was about, but we have to be prepared. You know, God sent us these little clues. So I was thinking those 18-hour hand warmers are really good to have. Especially if you live in an apartment during the three days darkness and stuff, it might get cold and you don't have a way to kind of heat. Also, just putting something on your head. I know I'm, you know, it's hard for me to put heavy stuff on my head. Although, after my Holy Communion today, I saw myself crowned as a queen. And I was thinking, you know, the Holy Family, they're, they're such the best royalty that you could ever have. You know, St. Joseph is a king. He's actually bloodline king. You know, they never tell you that. And in the Bible really, but he would have been the king in replace of Herod had things gone according to, you know, the bloodline. But uh, anyway, so he is a real king. And then our lady, of course, and the king of kings, Jesus, who kind of lift, he lifted me like this up to the altar, like with the most regal, delicate, you know, just like in a court, how in the old days they would kind of curtsy and show reverence when they saw each other and stuff like that. Even nuns still do that today. But, uh, it was like that. And I realized, wow, it's such a true royalty. I mean, who would throw that away for even an earthly royalty? It's out of this world. It's beyond anything you could ever imagine. Almost to the point where many times I've said, I will go through whatever suffering it takes because this gold is so powerful that uh, nothing can stop it. We're definitely in World War III. I know that Father Chris even said that France is considering joining with Russia and China. Can you believe that? Of course, we got the digital dollar coming out. So buy food instead of stocking money, you know, and gold's going to be worthless. They got rid of the gold standard. All of that is just nonsense. <laughs> We consecrate all of our works and actions right now to the Blessed Virgin. Because you know who will is more than ready to, to try to puppet us into the nightmare. You know, and it's so easy to get into it. Even I've been studying some financial stuff, and even that is just so awful because, well, I even want to go into it. It just doesn't seem holy. <laughs> You know, it seems like doing a bunch of paperwork for the for the government, you know, more than like a normal job. And they're so greedy, all these banks and loan officers and stuff. And even these, and, and like I said, these real estate agents are so greedy. And the paperwork involved is just nuts. I mean, the stress you got to put someone through just so they can get in a house. Are you kidding me? You got to get a trust fund just so you can, you know give stuff to your kids now? Are you kidding me? You have to have insurance policy on everything, on the title. You have an insurance policy on this, on that. I mean, is it is the distrust people have so awful? I heard, you know, people won't move into a place if there's a piece of paint that's wrong color or if there's a hole in the carpet or something. I mean, these people are spoiled brats and, uh, also the selling of promissory you notes know, and the selling of these these banks are so greedy they'll sell your mortgage to someone else so that they can keep taking out money let me tell you these banks are going to fall for their greed you have penalties or if you pay it off early because they don't make as much out of you? Are you kidding me? Also, 
these developers, they make these housing developments, you can't have chickens. Well, how would you sign up for that? Or you can't do anything that you need to do on your property because it's going to look bad? You can't have chickens? Are you kidding me? I mean, what's going to happen when, when, you know, there's no food? <laughs> Turn off this heat here.